Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. Last time we made our way to Orberg City and we traveled to the Orberg Mines. And we fought a couple trainers, we did a few things. But there's one person that we didn't talk to last time and that's the guy to my right in that fancy looking red hard hat. So how about we go speak to him right now. Okay, stand back and watch this! Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way... Fallen boulders need to be smashed, so they're out of the way! If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too! Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me! So, we just received a not-so-formal introduction to the gym leader here in Orberg City. With that being said, because there are some wild Pokemon afoot and I don't have any repels until I win my first badge, I'm going to cut ahead and meet you outside of the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. Alright, so here we are just outside of the Orberg City Pokemon Gym before we head inside. How about, we, how about we read this sign, if I could speak? Orberg City Pokemon Gym, Leader, Rourke. Call me Rourke the Rock. Alright, at least I don't have to call you Dwayne. Anyways, let's head inside of the gym. And let's speak to this guy right over here. Not go behind him, that'd be a little weird and creepy. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen here. Rock-type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to Grass-type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering your weaknesses. Going after a Rock-type Pokemon with a Fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Alright, well, thank you, Gym Guide. Anyways, now it's time to actually face some trainers before we face the Gym Leader himself. So, in a few of the games, you can actually skip some of the trainers before the Gym Leader. Uh, some of them all, including this gym, while others only a few trainers. It's just easier for if you wanna, if you're over leveled already or something, like I kind of am with Monferno, uh, and you just wanna go right to the gym leader, you can. Uh, but I recommend that you just fight them. It's easy experience, easy money as well. Uh, so, yeah, just fight all the trainers. Unless you're a speedrunner, then. I guess you would try to cut as many corners as possible. Anyways, experience! Yay! Easy experience, easy money. Thanks for proving my point, youngster. Alright, so actually I can show this off right now. Uh, to skip the trainers, you just come up here, cut there, and go up here, and right there. And that leads you to the gym leader. But before we take on Rourke, we're gonna take on this final youngster right here. Alright, yes, anybody can win a Pokemon Gym Challenge if you use the right strategy. You can even win with a type disadvantage like I'm going into right now. Although technically it would be an even bigger disadvantage if Monferno was still a Chimchar. So, lucky our uh, little fire monkey evolved. Anyways, because this youngster has two Pokemon, instead of an 11, a level 11 Geodude, he has a level 9 Geodude, plus his other Pokemon, whatever it is. And oh my god, we are like, what, one experience point away from being level 16? Come on, game. Anyways, here's an Onix from Darius. I forgot the other youngster's name, I think it was Jonathan? Was it Jonathan? It was probably Jonathan. Anyways even though these youngster names don't really count for anything. Harden. It, that doesn't really matter, actually, because I can just hit you with an Ember. And 
I was scared for a second I, that I was about to say not take you out. But I don't, I don't really know Onyx's uh, special defensive stat. I don't know if it's really good or not. Anyways, level 16 for Monferno, which is awesome. Fury Swipes. Now, I believe Fury Swipes is 80 accuracy and Scratch is 100. So, I'm gonna keep old, uh, keep old moves. Um, however, if Fury Swipes does hit more than twice, because it has the ability to hit two to five times, uh, it actually has a better base power than Scratch. So if it hits, if it hits more than twice also, then it's better than Scratch, but I'm not gonna risk it. I have, I usually have terrible luck with lower accuracy moves that are under 100. Hell, even, uh... 95 accuracy moves I have trouble with. Anyways, let's actually take on the gym leader now, do what we came here to do. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And, I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokémon that battle with you! Alright, here we go, it is time for our first gym battle here in the Sinnoh region. Rourke is gonna start out with Geodude, level 12, Rock Ground type, Rockhead for the ability, with the moves Rock Throw and Stealth Rock. At least that's according to Bulbapedia, and Bulbapedia is probably one of the more trusted sources, so I'm gonna go with it. It might have Tackle, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna mock Punch this Geodude again, and take it out pretty easily. I could've probably used Ember, but I might as well just use my super effective move on it. Why not? Lots of experience yet again from Monferno. Gonna be level 17, most likely, when we get out of this gym. And we still are a little bit ways away from catching our, uh, our catching our first official team member because Monferno we received. We didn't catch Monferno, we received it. Anyways, next up is going to be Onyx level 12, Rock Ground type, Rockhead for the ability, with the moves Rock Throw, Screech, and Stealth Rock. All right. Uh, the Quick Claw is going to activate, even though Mach Punch is a priority move, so even if I was slower than Onyx, which I doubt I am, and thank you for missing that Rock Throw, I appreciate it, uh, even if I was slower than this Onyx, Mach Punch, since it is priority, it would go ahead of this Rock Throw that Onyx is going to hit now. And if I was pure Fire type instead of Fire Fighting after evolving, that probably would have done a lot more, maybe even taken me out. Rourke's gonna use a potion here since Onyx was at low health. That isn't really gonna help though, because now I can. I think I can take this out with an ember here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sweet. So down goes Onyx, and Rourke is only left with one more Pokemon. And is that actually gonna be enough? It is going to be enough. Monferno is now level 17. My goodness, Monferno, slow down on the aging, buddy. Anyways, Rourke's final Pokemon, Cranidos, level 14, Rock type, Mold Breaker for the ability, with the moves Headbutt, Pursuit, and Leer. Alright, Rourke, here we go. Let's see if your Cranidos can survive this Mach Punch here. It's super effective, same type attack bonus, and it does! Actually surprised by that, and I wish you would have used Headbutt instead of Leer Cranidos, but. It is what it is, let's just go for an Ember to finish off Cranidos here. And there we go. Down goes Cranidos, which means we have defeated Gym Leader Rourke, thus earning our first official Sinnoh League Gym Badge. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. And that's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here is your official Pokemon League Cole Badge. 
And there we go, we have received the Coal Badge! Having that Coal Badge means your Pokémon can now use the Hidden Move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too! And we've also obtained TM76, which contains the move Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokémon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it. So make sure, uh, make sure that you want a Pokémon to learn that move. Yes, this isn't Generation 5 and beyond, so TMs do break after one use. Nonetheless, I'm gonna go to the Pokémon Center and heal up really quickly, and then we will make our way back... Uh, actually, I think we're going back to Jubilife City, so... I'll officially tell you when we come back. Yes indeed, we will be heading back to Jubilife City, because the route that is up ahead here, Route 207, we can't go anywhere without a bike. So... We gotta make our way back to Jubilife and find another way to the next city with a gym badge. Thud. Whoops! James! You got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So, uh, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't that much of a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilife City! Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge! Ten seconds before I dash! Nine? Oh, but who got, who got time to count? Well, at least he's not finding me ten million Poké Dollars. Anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Platinum. Next time, we will return to Jubilife City, and we will make our way to Eterna City, which is the site of the next Pokemon Gym. So with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. On second thought, I actually forgot about this area in the Orberg Mine that we can now go to, now that we can use Rock Smash, so this episode isn't quite over yet. We can explore this downward area here and pick up a few items, I believe. So, let's actually break some boulders and let's see what we can grab. I think there's also a couple trainers here too that we can fight, if I'm not mistaken. Do you fight me? No, okay. You're basically just telling me that when I have a bike, I can go over those bumps there. Alright, so a big pearl. Ooh, that'll actually sell for a lot of money. That's actually a pretty good item to have. Uh, okay. So now I need to... Oh, uh, repel wearing off. Come on. I bought ten of these to get through, um, the route before Jubilife. And I'm gonna be wasting them now. Actually, I might only be able to waste, like, one more after this, I think. And by waste, I mean use, because... I mean, I don't want to run into any wild Pokemon here in the Orberg Mine, so... It is pretty useful. Uh, so let's see, let's hop down here, let's grab this item. It is TM70 Flash! Okay, so actually a useful... A useful item. Uh, Flash became a TM in this generation, uh, and it ended up... With all the remakes and everything, it ends up being TM, HM again. It, same with, uh, uh, what move was it that also became a TM and HM? Oh god, I forget. Rock Smash? Yeah, Rock Smash changed multiple times. Anyways, I think that's everything. So, we'll make our way out of the Orberg Mine, and I guess we will go to the outskirts of Jubilife, because I guess I might as well just make my way there for... Extra buffer in the video. And now the repel wears off, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Walk, 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 walk. There we go. Alright, so, here we are, Route 203. Right? This is Route 203? Yeah. Yay, I remember the route name. Uh, next time on Pokemon Platinum, now next time on Pokemon Platinum, we will make our way back inside of Jubilife City, make our way to Eterna City, hopefully all in the next episode. So with that, 
thank you for watching, and I will see you then.